Hi there. So what we're looking at today is how you can search for files on your computer. So how you can restrict the search to file type to search within a specific date range and also um, to use that to find files that you may have lost on your computer. So this is a really useful tip or technique whether you're using images, whether you're working with video or whether you're just doing general work on your Mac. At some point you're going to lose a file and you're going to want to find it. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll begin to get some files that maybe you thought were lost found again. So what I'm going to look for in this example is some movies, but this can work for Word documents, for images, for any types of file that you're, you're wanting to find on your computer. Okay, so I'm going to just type in the search bar here um, on the desktop, just a dot. Okay, so every file name pretty much on the Mac will have a, a dot in it. So whether it's .jpg, .mov, um, etc. So you can kind of find um, lots of files quite quickly by doing that. And then the next thing um, I will do is actually restrict this search between two different dates. So I'm going to add one extra search restriction over here on the right and I'm going to use the created date and I'm going to set it to be after we're going to say the 30th of January 2015. Okay, so now it's going to find everything that's been created um, after the 30th of January that's on my computer, so things that have downloaded, etc. And then I'm going to add another restriction, okay, of the 30th of February, okay, so or the 28th of February, okay. And now I want to find movies, so I'm going to click the plus again, and you can see I'm building up a series of restrictions here that are really useful when you're searching for any kinds of files. And we've got some other options here as well, but what we're looking for is the kind of file um, that we're going to get. So we're going to look for movies. And now you can see that what's listed here is all those movies, okay, that were made between those two dates, okay? Any movies that were created, MPEG-4s, MPEGs, uh, QuickTime movies, will all be listed. And we could change this to images, Okay, to show the images that were created between those two dates. And we can keep pairing this down as well. So if we want to be more specific, then we could look for images within a certain week range and so on and so forth. So this is a really useful way of searching on Mac OS X and often for finding lost files. My organizational skills are pretty good, but they're not always perfect. So sometimes I'll find myself dropping things in the wrong folder and I know I did something during a certain week, but I'm not exactly sure where I put it. So this will help you find those files and hopefully uh, recover some things that you thought were deleted, but may just be lost on your Mac. Okay, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It'll be useful whether you're working on the Mac for general purposes or for working with professional applications such as image work or video work. Everyone needs to find files and this is hopefully really useful for you.